What's up YouTube, welcome back to another video. Today I have another hard SQL interview question for you. This time from Meta or Facebook. Let's get into it. Now this one's called comments distribution, marked as hard or stratusrich.com. Let's get into it. Our task is to write a query to calculate the distribution of comments by the count of users that joined Meta or Facebook between 2018 and 2020 for the month of January 2020. The output should contain a count of comments and the corresponding number of users that made that number of comments in January 2020. For example, you'll be counting how many users made one comment, two comments, three comments, four comments, and so on in January 2020. Your left column in the output will be the number of comments, while your right column in the output will be the number of users. We should sort the output from the least number of comments to the highest. Let's just pre preview that. A sense of that. So we have the comment count and how many users left that many comments in January 2020. And the users must have signed up between 2018 and 2020, got it. To add some complexity, there might be a bug where a user post might be dated before the user join date. We want to remove these posts from the result. All right, so we need to take care of that bug as well. We have two tables, one called FB users that has the user's ID, their name when they joined Facebook, city ID and device ID. And we also have FB comments, which contains the user ID, the body of the comment left, it's in the comment, and when that comment was created, just the date for that. All right, so just think about how to do this. Our task is pretty much to create a distribution or a data set that could be used for a histogram where, we, where you would just pretty much create a bar chart out of these frequencies, frequency of how many comments or what comment count was left by how many users and then you could pretty much chart that and see most people just left one comment or two comments and so on and get an overview of that. Usually you wouldn't calculate this in SQL necessarily because there are histogram plotting functions in Python or in a visualization tool. But this is a really good exercise and I know that Facebook asks questions about distributions as well. So maybe that's just set up that follow-up question. Anyways, for this question, I think we can divide it into a few steps. One of those steps would be to just calculate how many comments were left by users. So we'll get a comment count per user, and then we need to take that comment count and count again how many times did we see that comment count or just leaving one comment, just leaving two comments, and so on. So these are the two main steps. We need to take care of some things as well, such as the users signing up between 2018 and 2020, and the comments being left in January 2020, and then that bug of the comment having to be after the sign up date because theoretically it should be possible to leave a comment before you sign up to the platform, to create the account. So two major steps and then some things we need to take care of. Let's start with step one, which is creating a count of comments per user in January 2020. So we're gonna select user ID, which is in FB users. I'm going to spell out the whole table name. I'm going to select and fill every time to make it more clear. FB users and a count. One row in the FB comments table corresponds to one comment. So we can just count star, count everything, count all rows, and that gets us the amount of comments. So a comment count. That's what the expected output wants later on and we're selecting from FB users. Now in order to get the comments for those specific users, we need to join the table and use a simple join. So we're joining FB comments on the user ID pretty much. So the FB user user ID should equal the FB comments user ID. And yeah, that should already work if we go by the user ID. 
see what that gives us. We still need to take care of a bunch of things, but just see whether this works. So we have a user ID, we have the amount of comments, and then later on we're going to take that comment count and then pretty much count how many times do we see three comments, four comments, seven, everything that's in here. All right, so what we need to take care of is the user signing up or joining Facebook between 2018 and 2020. So let's take care of that first. We need to put a where fit in here, which is gonna come for the group by and order by statements. So the if the user join date, I think it's called joined at, should be between uh, these specific dates. So you could either do 1st of January 2018 and say, yeah, between that date and the last date of 2020, which would be December 31st, and do it this way. Or you could do it a slightly other way. You could also extract the year from this date and say extract the year from the state from the state column. And that should be between 2018 and 2020. It should work just as well. Yeah, same output. Just another way of doing it, and it depends on the SQL dialect you're using in terms of which date manipulation function you're using. Extract is a date manipulation function. It's gonna change the format of the date to just the year. All right, I'm gonna keep it at that, but you can pretty much exchange or use something else in another SQL dialect. Let's just make sure we take care of the common date as well. So the user should sign up between 2018 and 2020, and the month of the comment should be January 2020. So could either extract year and month again or just do what I did earlier, which is, let's check what that is called. FB comments dot created at, yeah, that's what I thought. So what I mean by what I did earlier is just spelling out the date, specific date, so that would be 2020-01 for 1st of January. And then the last possible date should be the 31st of January, which is going to be the last day of January. Between includes the, the edge of the limit you're specifying on the period. So it includes the 1st and the 31st, and that way we're safe. So if we run this, the numbers should change and reduce a bit because we're just looking at comments in January 2020. But it seems like we took care of those two things. The only other thing in terms of checks we need to include in the where filter is to check for the post being created after the account was created. So let's say fbcomments.created at should be higher than, greater than the user's sign up date, which is joined it. All right, so that should take care of that. Number slightly change as well, probably. I won't look into this output before I'm really done. But this is a pretty good base. It took care of the first part of the problem, which is getting that comment count per user. So I'm gonna, Make this a subquery and call this one January 2020 comments. And yeah, they're pretty much ranked or counted by user ID. And now we want to take that comment count, not care about which user made that comment or anything, but just count how many users had that many comments in January 2020. So this, shop, this part should actually pre, uh, be pretty easy, as long as you realize that you need to divide it into these two steps. So if you just select the comment count, that would be what we have now expected output as the first column. And then count how many times that comment count occurs, we're pretty much done. So let's count 
star as well, the GP enough from this table we created in the subquery. And let's also group by common count. That should be in ascending order. And that should make sure the lowest common count is on top of the table. Oh, sorry. I skipped to the order by. So if we order by common count in ascending order, that's going to make sure that it happens. And yeah, that's part of the instruction. So the output from the least number of comments to the highest. And that should do the trick. So that looks like the expected output. Let's see if it is accepted. It is. That's pretty much it for that question. It's just about combining a few things. I think it's a pretty good question because you need to understand what they want from you. It's quite clear in the question, but it's an unusual or not the most common case of just getting an average or something, if you know what I mean. You should combine the tables. You need to set a bunch of filters. You need to maybe handle the dates in terms of getting the year out of it, or you just specify it as you want. You can go different routes there and then yeah, be able to create a subquery or a CTE. So you could also put this up here and say with this thing. Um, you could refer to it then. And that's gonna be yeah, same approach, just different structure. And yeah. So that's going to be it for that problem. It was marked as hard, but it's really not that hard if you just take a look at the different little tasks you really need to take care of and then put them all together. It's always good to go back to the problem statement and read through everything to make sure you have everything that's asked for you. You have these date filters in there and that bug fix that you should apply. And yeah, then it's not that hard. If you want to try more of these questions, head on over to strollerstretch.com. I'm going to have a link to this question in the description. Can try a bunch of the hard ones for free actually and then if you want to get a subscription it's going to help out the channel and you can access many more of those hard questions a lot of you are subscribed and a lot of you have notifications on for future videos if you want to be the first to see new videos make sure to activate those apart from that go check out another video and i'll see you all next time bye bye